In the ever-evolving landscape of technology, the pursuit of self-reliance and innovation has become paramount, particularly in the fiercely competitive realm of semiconductors, where advancements can dictate global leadership. Huawei, the Chinese telecommunications giant, has found itself at the forefront of this battle, facing significant challenges and demonstrating remarkable resilience in its quest for technological independence. Amidst escalating U.S. sanctions aimed at curbing its global ambitions, Huawei has embarked on an ambitious journey to develop its own extreme ultraviolet or EUV lithography technology, a critical component in manufacturing advanced semiconductors. This technology is not just a technical challenge but a strategic necessity for Huawei. EUV lithography with its ability to etch incredibly small patterns on silicon wafers is essential for producing the most sophisticated chips powering everything from smartphones and computers to artificial intelligence and autonomous vehicles. For years, this cutting-edge technology has been the exclusive domain of ASML, a Dutch multinational corporation, which has maintained a virtual monopoly over the global EUV market. This monopoly has made it difficult for other companies to enter the field. Huawei's pursuit of EUV mastery represents a bold challenge to ASML's dominance and underscores China's determination to achieve self-sufficiency in this strategically important industry. The stakes are incredibly high. Semiconductors are the lifeblood of the digital economy, and access to advanced chip-making capabilities is crucial for any nation aspiring to be a technological powerhouse. The U.S. government recognizing the strategic importance of semiconductors has implemented a series of sanctions targeting Huawei, cutting off its access to critical technologies and components, including EUV lithography machines from ASML. This has forced Huawei to rethink its strategies and innovate from within. These sanctions have dealt a significant blow to Huawei's smartphone and telecommunications equipment businesses, but they have also galvanized the company's determination to chart its own course. The spirit of innovation and resilience has become a driving force within Huawei. Undeterred by these challenges, Huawei has doubled down on its commitment to research and development, investing heavily in indigenous semiconductor design and manufacturing capabilities. This investment is seen as a long-term strategy to secure its future. The company has also forged strategic partnerships with domestic players like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, China's leading contract chip maker, to bolster its technological prowess. These collaborations are crucial for building a robust semiconductor ecosystem in China. At the heart of Huawei's ambitions lies a belief that innovation thrives in the face of adversity, and the pursuit of EUV technology has become a testament to this conviction. Huawei's journey is a powerful narrative of resilience, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of technological sovereignty. The impact of U.S. sanctions on Huawei's operations has been profound, disrupting its supply chains, curtailing its access to key markets, and creating significant challenges for the company. These sanctions have forced Huawei to rethink its business strategies and adapt to a rapidly changing global landscape. The most immediate and visible consequence has been the decline of Huawei's once-thriving smartphone business. Once a global leader in smartphone sales, Huawei has seen its market share dwindle as sanctions restricted its access to Google's Android operating system and critical components like processors and modems. This has led to a significant drop in sales and market presence. However, Huawei has not been content to simply weather the storm. The company has shown remarkable resilience and adaptability. Instead, the company has embarked on a multifaceted strategy to mitigate the impact of sanctions and emerge stronger in the long run. This strategy involves significant investment in research and development. A key pillar of this strategy has been diversification. By expanding into new business areas, Huawei aims to reduce its dependence on any single market. Recognizing its over-reliance on the smartphone market, Huawei has shifted its focus to other business segments, including cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and automotive technologies. These sectors offer new growth opportunities and help buffer against market volatility. In addition to diversification, Huawei has also prioritized the development of its own operating system, Harmony OS, as an alternative to Android. This move is crucial for maintaining its competitiveness in the global market. While Harmony OS faces an uphill battle against the entrenched dominance of Android and iOS, it represents a crucial step towards reducing Huawei's dependence on U.S. technology. The company is committed to making Harmony OS a viable alternative. 
Furthermore, Huawei has redoubled its efforts to cultivate domestic supply chains, forging partnerships with Chinese companies to secure access to critical components and materials. This strategy aims to insulate the company from future geopolitical risks. The company's resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to its strong leadership, innovative culture, and unwavering determination to succeed. Huawei's ability to adapt and innovate under pressure is a key factor in its ongoing success. By focusing on diversification, indigenous innovation, and domestic partnerships, Huawei aims to navigate the turbulent waters of U.S. sanctions and emerge as a more resilient and self-reliant technological powerhouse. The company's journey is a compelling example of how adversity can drive innovation and growth. At the heart of Huawei's efforts to overcome U.S. sanctions and achieve self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing, lies its strategic partnership with Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC. As China's leading contract chipmaker, SMIC plays a pivotal role in Huawei's ambitions to secure a reliable and advanced domestic source of semiconductors. The two companies have deepened their collaboration in recent years, pooling resources and expertise to overcome technological barriers and accelerate the development of cutting-edge chipmaking capabilities. SMIC's significance to Huawei's ambitions cannot be overstated. With U.S. sanctions effectively barring Huawei from accessing leading-edge chip manufacturing facilities operated by the likes of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, SMIC has emerged as a crucial lifeline. The company has been aggressively investing in expanding its production capacity and advancing its technological capabilities, aiming to bridge the gap with its global rivals. One of SMIC's notable achievements has been its progress in developing 7 nanometer chip manufacturing technology. While still lagging behind the 5 nanometer and even 3 nanometer processes offered by industry leaders like TSMC and Samsung, SMIC's 7 nanometer technology represents a significant step forward for China's domestic semiconductor industry. This breakthrough has enabled SMIC to produce chips for Huawei's latest smartphones and other devices, albeit in limited quantities and at higher costs compared to chips manufactured using more advanced processes. However, SMIC's progress has not come without its own set of challenges. The company has faced significant hurdles in acquiring critical equipment and materials due to U.S. export restrictions. Moreover, SMIC's technological capabilities, while improving, still lag behind those of its global competitors, particularly in the realm of EUV lithography. Nevertheless, SMIC remains a critical ally for Huawei, and its continued progress will be essential for the Chinese tech giant's long-term success. As the global semiconductor landscape continues to evolve, the partnership between Huawei and SMIC will likely face new challenges and opportunities. Their ability to innovate and adapt will be crucial in determining their future trajectory. The stakes are high, but so is the potential for groundbreaking advancements in technology. The development of EUV lithography technology has become a focal point in Huawei's pursuit of technological independence and a source of national pride for China. Recognizing the strategic importance of this technology, Huawei has been investing heavily in research and development, collaborating with domestic partners, and exploring alternative pathways to overcome the technological barriers erected by U.S. sanctions. One of the key challenges in EUV lithography is the extremely short wavelength of ultraviolet light used in the process which requires highly specialized and sophisticated equipment to generate, manipulate, and focus. ASML, the Dutch company that holds a virtual monopoly over EUV lithography machines has spent decades refining its technology building up an insurmountable lead that has made it nearly impossible for competitors to catch up. Undeterred by these challenges Huawei has been exploring a two-pronged approach to EUV technology. On the one hand the company is supporting domestic efforts to develop indigenous EUV lithography machines. This involves collaborating with research institutions, universities and equipment manufacturers to overcome the technological hurdles associated with EUV light sources, optics, and precision mechanics. While this approach is still in its early stages and faces significant challenges, it represents a long-term investment in building up China's domestic semiconductor equipment industry. On the other hand, Huawei is also exploring alternative lithography technologies that could potentially circumvent the need for EUV entirely. 
These alternatives such as nanoimprint lithography and directed self-assembly are still in their infancy but hold promise for achieving comparable chip densities and performance without relying on ASML's tightly controlled EUV technology.